So again, thank you for being here. Um, today, around noon, detectives and members of the Montgomery County Police Search and Rescue Team were searching a wooded area near Price's Distillery Road in Damascus. They located a patch of freshly dug ground in a secluded area of a field. Cadaver dogs indicated on the area, and ultimately, detectives found the body of Laura Wallen in a shallow grave. Her body has now been recovered. At 5.30 p.m. this afternoon, Tyler Tessier, Mrs. Wallen's boyfriend, was arrested for her murder. Since Ms. Wallen was reported missing by her family nine days ago, we've determined that Mr. Tessier was the last person known to have been with the victim. They were seen together on surveillance camera video on Saturday, September 2nd, in a grocery store near the victim's home. It is suspected by investigators that she was killed the next day. The victim's sister received texts from Ms. Wallen's phone on Monday morning, September 4th. We have determined that these texts were sent by Tyler Tessier, the suspect in this case. Since this investigation began, Mr. Tessier has provided information to detectives that led them to suspect his involvement in this case. In addition, Mr. Tessier was determined to have driven the victim's car to the Columbia area. He admitted to removing the front tag and disposing of it. Tessier also texted an acquaintance asking for a ride to Baltimore late Sunday night. He said that he needed help to, quote, to clean up a mess. The acquaintance declined to assist him. Mr. Tessier also admitted to disposing of the victim's driver's license and her iPhone. The break in this case came when it was determined that Tessier had made several trips to an acquaintance property on Price's Distillery Road in Damascus. Investigators showed up there today with a search warrant for the property, which was a dwelling along with open fields and woods. During the search, the team observed tire tracks on a nearby property. They observed a freshly dug ground on the property, which was some distance from the property that they were originally searching. We spoke with the owner of the property where the uh, ground had been disturbed, and we were ultimately able to recover the victim's body. The property owner of that property has no involvement with the case. Warrants for Mr. Tessier's arrest were obtained this afternoon, and he was taken into custody at around 5.30 p.m. this evening. He's being charged with the murder of Laura Wallen. I want to thank the detectives and all of the members of the public, both here and in Howard County, who assisted us with information related to this case. I also want to thank my homicide detectives who worked around the clock on this case and were able to bring it to closure. And in closing, while this arrest does provide some answers, I'm aware of the impact that this had on Ms. Wallen's community in Olney. We know that many of you are grieving with Laura's family tonight. So I'll answer any questions that you might have. Yes, sir. That's correct. And uh, the decision to allow him to participate in that news conference was a calculated uh, decision made by the detectives in this case for the express purpose of hearing what he had to say. It was done with the approval and knowledge of the victim's family. What was in that text message? There was a text message that was sent. The day that Laura Wallen went missing, you all wouldn't tell us what was in it, but the family said it was troubling sent a, a text message to, um, and I can't remember if it was her sister or her friend, saying that uh, Tyler had taken her to an open field up in the Damascus area. And she says, I'm not sure why we're up here, but he's taken me to this place in the middle of nowhere, something to that effect. The, the friend said, take a picture, and she did. 
And she was pregnant. Did he give any indication why he allegedly did this? I, I um, can only speculate as to the motive. We, we have not gotten any information uh, from him about uh, the motive in this case. Buck Five was able to confirm that he's living with a woman in the past year. Has that woman been questioned in his investigation? She, he's actually got um, three different places where he was uh, living. Um, he'd live in uh, three different locations, uh, typically during, during the week. Um, everyone who he uh, lived with has been uh, interviewed in this case. Was this woman known to police when uh, the title was introduced to the public as Laura's boyfriend? Yes. What led you to the field? What led you to, to that particular area in which the cadaver dogs then said, you know, we're going to look into this? What, what, why there? We had been able to determine over the past week that he had made several visits um, to that area. And um, we also determined that he would occasionally, uh, or at, during some period of time, would stay there. And so we got a search warrant for uh, that property, which uh, including a dwelling and, and, and quite a bit of, of wooded area and fields. And uh, the uh, search, uh, the search team, our search team, actually did search the perimeter of, of those entire woods, and at some point noticed tire tracks that went into an area of the woods and follow, and that's what led them to the area where we recovered her body. That's up to the state's attorney. Um, I'm not aware. I'm not aware of any, but I I, I don't know what his uh, criminal record, if any, uh, is. What is the extent of your conversations with the woman that he lived with in Damascus? Uh, is she cooperating? Has he ruled her out? Uh, has he had any involvement in this I'm not sure where she lived, um, but uh, I, I and I know that we've interviewed her, and I'm not aware of what the the uh, results of that interview are. Um, he was he was definitely a person of interest. Um, we had already um, identified a, a, a couple of inconsistencies in information that he'd given us, and again, it was a calculated decision by the detectives to allow him to speak at that press conference. We were going to be very interested in what he had to say at that press conference. And um, again, it was done with uh, the uh, knowledge and, and um, concurrence with the, the family. They knew as well. So the, the family knew he was a person of interest? Yes. Prior to Can you just clarify the timeline of the text message that you said that was sent to the friend? You said September 2nd was the surveillance video of the grocery store. So yes. Was that, text that, that was also on September 2nd, um, which was a Saturday. And then we had nothing, uh, no activity from her phone on Sunday. Uh, and then on Monday morning, uh, I believe it was her sister um, received texts from Ms. Wallen's phone uh, that were determined later to have cut, that, that Tyler was the one that was sending those texts. Uh, she had she had known that for some time. Are you all talking to the woman that he, that he was living with? She has she has been interviewed. Yes. And what did she reveal? I, I I don't know the results of that interview. How about the other women who were involved? Was it easy to bust it up? I mean, it sounds like he was maybe a little sloppy in some respects. So what would you call him? Um, this uh, I, I don't think that this was um, this was a very complicated investigation that we were we were helped by alert residents, both here and in Howard County, who, um, who provided us information. We were able to confirm uh, some of the locations where the suspect was through information uh, that the public uh, gave us. And um, ultimately, uh, uh, being able to uh, determine that he had been up to this area in Damascus uh, was ultimately led us up there. And um, this, again, our, our search team was able to, uh, to find the, the body. Um, th listen, this is, um, this is just one of those 
those tragic cases where you have an absolutely innocent victim um, and uh, it's just senseless, senseless killing. Um, and, and these are the kinds of cases that so often have um, a significant impact on the community where they occur. And this, uh, that was certainly the case um, with, with this, um, with this investigation. And so um, I'm, I, uh, we were very saddened to, to uh, I mean, we had a, 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 a real sense of dread that this was the way it was going to end up. And um, we were sad when we had to, when we found the body to, that confirmed uh, our fears. Um, so these, these, these cases are just senseless violence. Um, he's in our custody right now, um, and uh, he'll have a, a bond review uh, probably tomorrow. Was there any evidence on the pill? Say again? How was Laura Lowenfield? Uh, you know, we're going to have to wait to the, for the autopsy um, to get that. We, right now, we, we don't know. Was there any evidence on the body that would give you some kind of a gauge, like evidence of blood force trauma? There, there was not, um, so we're going to have to wait for the... Um, the autopsy to, to get that information. Do you know when he took her to Damascus? Well, the, the um, photo uh, was sent, uh, was texted on Saturday, September 2nd. Oh. Chief, can you reiterate what, what led you to the Damascus area? Yeah, the fact that um, uh, we determined that he would stay up there uh, occasionally and that he had been up there over the past week several times. And so that led us to uh, get a search warrant for that property where he would stay. And um, uh, it wasn't until later that we were able to get the, pic the photo that she texted on, on uh, Saturday and were able to determine that that photo was taken on this property up in Damascus. Was there someone who told you that he had been there several times in the last however long? We, we, we that, um, that, invest that information was received through investigation. I'm, I'm not going to talk about how we got that information. I'm sure you've already said this. Is anyone else possibly going to be charged along with this Right now, um, he is the only suspect in this case. But uh, as with uh, any case that we have, the arrest doesn't end the investigation. The investigation continues. And um, uh, so, but right now, he is the only suspect uh, that's been charged and the only suspect that we uh, are focused on in this case right now. But again, the investigation continues. Can you talk all about motive? Um, I, I, I can't talk about motive because I don't know what the motive was. I know that people have speculated um, uh, the fact that uh, you know he was in um, another relationship. People have talked about the fact that our vic the victim was pregnant. Um, that's that's all speculation. I, I don't know what the motive was in this case. Right. Thank you all very much. Thank you. Thank you.